So fact trees are useful because they help us break down a number into its prime factors. Let's look at an example of how we can use a fact tree to do that. So if we start with the number 80, the way we construct a factor tree is the following. We look for two numbers that multiply to make the number we have and then we carry on factorizing the numbers until we're left with prime numbers only. So let's start with two numbers that multiply to make 80. The first number that comes to mind is the number 2. 2 multiplied by 40 gives us 80. So what we do is we label two branches coming out from 80 with the two numbers we found, so 2 and 40. What we then do is we look at these two numbers on the end of the branches and we see whether they're prime numbers. If they're prime numbers, we circle them. If they're not prime numbers, we carry on factorizing until we're left with prime numbers. So 2 here is a prime number, so let's circle it. 40 is not a prime number, so we need to carry on factorizing it. So two numbers that multiply to make 40 now, 5 and 8, or 2 and 20. So let's take 2 and 20. So 2 times 20 gives us 40. 2 is a prime number, so we can circle it. Now two numbers that multiply to make 20. 5 times 4 gives us 20, so let's label two branches with 5 and 4. 5 is a prime number, so we can circle it. 4 is not a prime number, so we need to factorize it further. So two numbers that multiply to make 4. 2 times 2 gives us 4, so we have two branches with the two numbers at the end, 2 and 2. Both of these are prime numbers, so we can circle them. Now what we do is, to write 80 as a product of its prime factors, all we now need to do is look at the numbers that we've circled or look at all the prime numbers within this factor tree. So the prime numbers within this factor tree, or the numbers we circled, were 2, 2, 5, 2, and 2. So 80 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. If we simplify this and write this in index form, then 80 equals 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 4 lots of 2. So 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 5. And this is equal to 80. We've written 80 as a product of its prime factors. Something to note is that we can draw factor trees in multiple ways. So I'll show you another way of writing 80 where we don't start with 2 and 40 first, we start with a different set of numbers. So two numbers that multiply to make 80, we can start off with 5 and 16. 5 times 16 gives us 80. Check which of these is a prime number. So 5 is a prime number, so we can circle it. 16 is not a prime number, we can factorize it further. Two numbers that multiply to make 16, we can have 4 and 4. So 4 times 4 gives us 16. Check if any of these are prime numbers. 4 is not a prime number, so we can factorize both of these further. Two numbers that multiply to make 4 are 2 and 2. So two branches with the numbers 2 coming out. And now check which of these are prime numbers. So all of these are prime numbers, so we can circle them. Since we don't have any other numbers that we can factorize further, we can now write 80 as a product of its prime factors. So 80 is equal to 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And hopefully you notice that this is the same answer we got in the previous method we used to factorize 80 into the product of its prime factors. So if we write this in index form, we have 80 equals to 5 times 2 to the power of 4, which is essentially the same as 80 equals to 2 to the power of 4 times 5.